Now radiation is in a few places you'd expect it and a few places you wouldn't expect it. One of the places you wouldn't expect it really is a um, smoke alarm. But it's in there because there's radioactive material in there to help um, basically detect smoke. That's one of its jobs. Um, so that's one of the places you know you might not expect radiation but it's actually there. But there's quite a few places radiation was traditionally used where it really doesn't make sense. So what we're going to look at now is some of those sort of stupid things and um, that's coming up. So one of the historical sources of radiation where it was used in sort of one of the uses was basically radium paint on watch and instrument dials so they would glow in the dark. Now if I put the Geiger counter on it you'll hear that will start ticking up a little bit. Because there's radium paint in there emitting alpha radiation. Now, the uh, alpha and beta, I'm pretty sure on this watch dial. Anyway, the, as you see, that's gone to high on the Geiger. Uh, now, the interesting thing is obviously radium was fairly safe while it was contained in the watch. However, what wasn't safe was um, the people who painted these. Now, they were generally known as radium girls and they would paint them on, um, you know, like paint the radium physically on from a paint pot. Um, and lots of them, where they used to lick the brushes to clean them, developed all sorts of horrible facial tumours and things like that from doing it. But it wasn't just sort of things like, you know, um, substances you'd assume to be radioactive that contained radiation. So what I want to do in this video is basically go through a list of some of the weird and unusual things radiation were historically used in, often called radioactive quackery. So what I'm going to get to show you in a moment is uh, a bit of fiesta where I've, some people will be familiar with this, where... They used to make dinner plates and sort of food cups and everything from radioactive uh, painted uranium glazed pottery. So let me just show you what happens when you put a bit of fiesta ware under a Geiger counter. So here we have what's known as radioactive red fiesta ware, um, as it says on there, radioactive um, uranium glazed pottery. So let's get the Geiger counter out and let's put this underneath it. Dangerous, there we go. So, somebody had the smart idea at some point of putting um, uranium glaze on actual, you know, pottery you'd eat from. Now, this is about as stupid as you'd expect. Now, for most food substances, it isn't really going to impact much radiation onto it. And, you know, it's not that dangerous to have this in your house, simply for the reason being that, obviously, as you can see, that if I have it here, the guide counter is no longer ticking very fast, I have to get it quite close before it um, increases the tick rate. So it's got a very short range on this radiation. Obviously yes, it will go up like that. If you have it right next to it, but otherwise it's fine. So, something like this, you know, isn't that bad if it's sat in your cupboard, but if you're eating acidic foods off of it, like spaghetti apparently, this is a really big problem because, you know, the glaze can basically melt, come off with the acidic food, uh, then you're ingesting radioactive substances, which isn't going to do your body any good. So, um, rather than putting this in my pocket near my testicles, I'm going to put this back in its bag. Um, but what other silly sources of radiation were there? So as I said, there was uranium paint on clocks because it was luminous, that made sense, until there was better substances you could put on them. Uh, radioactive glaze on pottery doesn't really make sense, but it got far, far worse. So there was this period known as radioactive quackery, which you can look up, which was basically from mostly the early 1900s to the 50s, where it was an idea that, you know, radiation was great and invigorating, rather than, as we know now, radiation causes all sorts of problems. So, um, there were lots and lots and lots of stupid things people put radiation in for no reason really. Um, so you could actually get machines that would make your drinking water radioactive, you know, because drinking radioactive water is apparently a good thing. You know how now everybody's obsessed with how to make take radiation out of water with the correct sort of filtering processes and things like that. Um, back then it was how can we add radioactive substances to your water. Now apparently there was one um, quite famous American who, um, you can look him up on Wikipedia, I'm sure if you want to know his name, and he was so obsessed with these products that by the time he died his jaw had fall fallen off due to um, you know radioactive and radiation poisoning and all the cancers associated with it, and they had to bury him in a lead coffin because um, of how radioactive his body was in the end. So, you know, radioactive stuff like that. 
Apparently there was radioactive cards they certain put in certain brands of cigarettes, so your cigarettes could be slightly radioactive for whatever reason. Um, there was radioactive chocolate made by some companies. You know, so again, eating radiation, not going to end well for you. Some of my favourite were radioactive suppositories and radioactive condoms. So radioactive things you shoved up your ass for some reason. They thought that was a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. But radioactive condoms, I mean, maybe the logic is after using them a few times, you'll be shooting blanks and won't need a condom in the first place. I don't actually really know who thought that was a good idea. But yes, there was this massive period where if you could put radiation in something, you know, it was a good thing, apparently. Um, now, obviously, radiotherapy can be used to fight cancer when done by proper doctors and everything, you know. But randomly exposing yourself to radiation isn't a good idea but for some reason they thought at one point yes it was so if, if you're interested in this subject look it up look it up because it's quite fascinatingly you know weird and morbid but yes radioactive quackery was a thing and it was literally you know where it was as stupid as it sounds let's get anything radioactive and um you know shove it in your food shove it in your water radioactive products wouldn't surprise me if somebody did radioactive pillows. Apparently there were radioactive sands you could line into a box so you could lay in a box full of radiation. Apparently that cured all sorts of problems. And what makes this even worse is apparently it's coming back in some parts of East Asia. There's actually more products designed to randomly put radiation into drinking water and things like that. Why? I don't know, but people are apparently buying them. So... <laughs> There you go. Maybe um, it might be a good idea to get a Geiger counter or a dosimeter to check if you are being exposed to um, radiation from stupid radioactive products. Um, a big thank you to Ziggy Jinx for sending me this, as I've said before. Um, he does a metal detecting channel and he sent me this because he didn't really have much need for one of these, but you know, I find them really interesting. So it's just a little SOEX Geiger counter, and I am pretty certain, despite what people say, this can detect alpha radiation because as you saw earlier in the video, it ticks off a bit faster if you put it next to a smoke alarm emitting alpha radiation. So there you go. Um, this is a pretty fascinating little thing, a lot more practical than the giant um, Geiger counter like my old Polish one, although that's cool and retro. But, you know, if you're interested in it, is anything radioactive, you can put this next to things and find out. So, for example, I could say, is there any radiation in this activated charcoal filter I made the other week? Apparently not, but, you know, you can check stuff like that. Um, it's probably good for all the people who worry that, oh, I bought an old gas mask, is that radioactive? Um, you know, you can check and find out that it's actually not, because lots of people seem to worry about that. I've heard fish food is radioactive before, but, you know, this isn't actually giving me any reading, so apparently it's not. So, there you go. Um, radioactive quackery. Um, do look it up, it's pretty fascinating, but yeah, suppositories, condoms, chocolate, things that put radiation into your drinking water, because apparently that's a good idea. So yeah, when you see Nuka cola from Fallout, that's not as far-fetched as you might think. Um, that's kind of more realistic than some of the stuff that actually did happen. You know, reality being stranger than fiction and all that. 